the second division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes two-year-old Colt A division moving in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time for race 10. Now let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron for the call. Oh, I got a visitor from the old days at Western Faircourt up here tonight, Duke Roberts. And of course, everybody remembers Duke with Sandals Dexter and a couple of gold cup and saucers. And he's brought his kids, Rachel and Dylan. They're going to watch one from the best seat in the house, and that's the booth here at the driving park in Charlottetown. The Atlantic Sire Stakes are all lined up. Two-year-old Cole Pacers. Post time. Rough and pacing, and that's Red Dirt Rock and Roll, the first one away towards the rail. Southfield Sandy between horses. Bob Johnsky coming three wide on the outside. Red Dirt Boomer is fourth, moving up fifth from the outside. Dusty Lane Cortez. Then towards the rail in six is Della's Hot Shot, away seventh in the early going. Don't be a hero. And the early trailer, J.K.'s boy, their quarter pole bound up front. It's Red Dirt Rock and Roll right on the choo choo. In line to Mark Campbell. Red Dirt Boomer tucked away with a two hole ride. Southfield Sandy left well. He's rewarded, sitting third at the rail. Bob Johnsky around the turn is fourth. The opening quarter, it was solid. 28 and two opened it up. Down the stretch they come. They have the half mile in their sights, and it's Red Dirt Rock and Roll and Campbell halfway home. Red Dirt Boomer muscles up in the two hole. Southfield Sandy third. Here comes Dusty Lane Cortez, fourth on the outside. Bob Johnsky along the rail, fifth. Della's hot shot on the outside. Towards the rail, that's Della's hot shot. Moving up is Don't Be a Hero. J.K.'s boy, the trailer, 58 and one. One was the opening half mile to the back stretch they go. Second and final time. Three quarters coming next. And it's Red Dirt Rock and Roll, the leader by a length and a quarter. Dusty Lane Cortez on the outside. Red Dirt Boomer right there at the rail third. Three quarters in one. 28 and one round the turn for the final time. They're down to an eighth to go. Red Dirt Rock and Roll looking to go all the way. Red Dirt Boomer might have some say. Coming to the outside second. Southfield Sandy up the inside third. They're in deep stretch now. Red Dirt Boomer and Berrio on the line. Red Dirt Rock and Roll was second. We'll need a show photo. 157 3 Well, what a battle down the stretch here tonight in race number 10, Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old Colts, A division, and the five, Red Dirt Rock and Roll, cutting it out for Mark Campbell. Gio Berrio sitting in the pocket, angling out late with a Red Dirt Boomer and uh, Kenny Warkington. Gio's going to get up late to win it. Yeah, perfect trip here behind Red Dirt Rock and Roll. Was allowed to rate 59-4, middle half, a 29-2 coming home here. And Red Dirt Boomer rebounds off the break and the second try off the six scratch and scores his second A Division Atlantic Sire Sticks victory in a sharp, sparkling new mark of 157 and three-fifths for the Maritime Magic Man. Jills Berrio, a son of malicious Boomer, beats Rock and Roll. Bob Johnsky may have come through for third. That just might be an ice cold try.
Going to the winner's circle from tonight's 10th race is the four-entry Red Dirt Boomer, Bay Pacing Call 2. He's by Malicious. Off the Articulator Dam, Independent Gal. Owned by Dan Ross of Belfast. Trained and driven to victory tonight by the Maritime Magic Man, Jill's Barrio. The Colt will pace to a new race win record and looks good doing it. One, 57 and three. Red Dirt Boomer in the Atlantic Sire Stakes. <laughs>